Hey folks, before starting with my first Gen 5 battle with my SAM team, I thought I would link to today's Pokebox 5 battle, which is also using my SAM team uh, and against none other than Champion Marks. So go check it out, and then come back and watch this one. Or, you know, watch this one first, then go check it out. I'd recommend that, because I like this one better. Okay, so long. Hey people, and welcome to the debut of a brand new team. This is my first battle with my new SAM team remade for Gen 5. Uh, and my opponent today is Zenabel 12. Uh, so anyway, I lead off with a Roserade, who is originally from my Gore team, uh, and he leads off with a Celebi, or so it would appear. Oh. Um, I'm a little bit surprised that it outsped me. I figure, you know, max speed uh, Celebis are fairly rare, and Celebis that know Night Days are even rarer. It's obviously not a Celebi, it's a Zoroark. Um, and I kind of knew that from uh, his selection screen, uh, and so I'm not surprised. Um, and it's annoying that his sub uh, prevented me from setting, uh, from using uh, Sleep Powder, but I am able to set up at least one round of spike, uh, Toxic Spikes. I go ahead and pull back, no sense in sacrificing um, my, uh, my Pokemon just this early. So I send out Mick, it's his Gen 5 debut. And this is the same Mick, uh, leveled up to level 100 thanks to some rare candies. And so that's gonna, it's gonna take, uh, night days like it was nothing. Uh, it's resisted like anything. Uh, and so I'm gonna go ahead and set up a curse. I had, I didn't know whether this was a mix set or a special set. It appears now it's a special set. And so that nasty plot is going to double its special attack. And I'm thinking, uh, well that's kinda interesting. I wonder what it's gonna go for for an attack. Uh, all I've seen is night days and, um, substitutes. So I really don't know what it's running. Um, and it's not gonna, but now I know it's not gonna be a physical attack, so Curse probably wasn't the best choice. And he's running Focus Blast, and I'm like, oh geez. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Payback here rather than set up anymore. Um, and that's hopefully going to break his sub. Uh, indeed, dot dot dot, even though it's resisted, it is gonna break his sub. Mick is completely awesome. And so now he, he's going for the Focus Blast again, and Mick is one lucky little rabbit or whatever he's based on. Um, and so I'm gonna get off a second payback, uh, and I almost kill him, I almost kill him, but not quite, and so now you see, yes, it's a Zorak. Big surprise. Um, and so now his third Focus Blast hits. That was a huge amount of hacks on my end. I'm really sorry he's in the Bell 12. Um, and, but he does manage to get off a plus two Focus Blast against me, finally, and that is gonna be enough to take me out. Uh, unfortunately, bye bye, Mick. You had a really great run, and hey, took out a Zorark um, thanks to Life Orb Recoil. So that's great. I, I don't have to worry about that special sweeper. And anyway, now he sends out his Islet Girls, uh, which is a Munchlax, probably carrying an Eviolite. I mean, come on, you know, why else would you run Munchlax instead of Snorlax? And so I'm going to be really glad that I got some poison, uh, the Toxic Spikes up. I'm going to go ahead and set up a second round of Toxic Spikes. Um, knowing that he's not going to be able to kill me on the first turn. Uh, instead, he decides to set up, uh, I guess predicting that I was going to do something like that, um, and goes for the curse, and so that's going to increase his attack and his uh, defense, and he's not going to care about the speed. Oh, hey, it's a girl. It's a girl that likes girls. Eh, okay, um, <laughs> sorry, folks. Um, so anyway, uh, I'm going to go ahead and Giga Drain him, because I don't know how much uh, special defense he's running, um, and it does... Eh, nothing. Okay, I mean... You know, I don't. I guess he could probably be running the rest, which would completely suck. Um, so I'm gonna really have. To, I really should switch out at this point, I guess. Um, but so yeah. I, so the toxic damage is doing. Or it's not toxic damage. It's only poison damage because I've only gotten one round of spikes up at this point. I go ahead and go for another round of Giga Drain, thinking that he's probably not going to rest quite this early. Um, and you know, it could be a crate or something like that. Um, I think I'm actually just hoping for the free switch in here, um, and he goes for the fire punch, and that is going to kill me, uh, what, with it being super effective and him having plus two, uh, attack from the curse. So Elkabong is down, so long, um, and now I'm going to debut a new Pokemon, well, not a new Pokemon, um, it's Pazuzu, my Zapdos from Gen 4, again, same Pokemon, not a rebreed or anything, um, not that you breathe as that does anyway, but uh, I go ahead and Thunderbolt uh, his Munchlax. Uh, yeah, it runs Thunderbolt now instead of Discharge. Uh, because I have the Toxic Spikes up, it's not worth it to try to get the Parahacks. 
Um, and he gets a, an amazing crit. I was like, I cannot, could not believe how much damage that was doing at the time, because this is a, this is a physically defensive Zapdos. Um, but it's no surprise that it was a crit, uh, and I was really hoping that uh, the poison damage would be enough to kill it, but it survives with like barely any HP, and I'm going to have to kill it on this next turn with, a, with another T-Bolt. But that's going to be enough to kill it, so that's kind of nice. Um, you know, maybe I should have roosted, but I didn't want the, him to get the power hacks if he was going to go for another um, body slam, so I'm just glad I got that out of the way. Anyway, next up for him is a Haunter, which is strange. I mean, Haunter versus Gengar, uh, I figured maybe it's carrying an EVO light too, but based on the fact that it outran me, well, that doesn't mean anything, but um, I don't think it actually is carrying an EVO light, so I'm wondering why Haunter instead of Gengar, there's really no advantage. So anyway, I go ahead and switch in my Uchikoma. My, uh, this is not the same Uchikoma that's on my Isabella team. This is a completely new breed, um, Jolly Nature, and you're going to see its strategy in just a second. Anyway, uh, I take that Shadow Ball, it pops my Air Balloon, and I'm going to go ahead and go for the Agility. Yes, this is an Agilagross. Um, it is around to deal with freaking Latios, Latias, um, Latias, whatever, but Latios, seriously. Um, it is designed to kill dragons um, and take Draco Meteors. Anyway, um, I managed to one-hit KO that Haunter with a very nice um, Meteor Mash, uh, and that actually I get some hacks there, uh, get the plus one attack boost, so that's really great. He sends out his Heracross, and so I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to kill it with a Meteor Mash, uh, but I'm not positive, depending on the set he's using. Um, so, bam to the face, Meteor Mash, and I'm just hoping that this is going to kill, and indeed, probably thanks to that plus one, it does. So, uh, my Uchikoma, my uh, Agilagross is sweeping through his team, which is nice, and now he sends out his real Celebi. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, I'm hopefully going to be able to one-hit KO it with a, um with an Ice Punch, um, but anyway, I wasn't predicting the Sucker Punch, and it gets me down to really, really low HP. Um, I really wouldn't have expected that considering, well, I don't resist it, but, I mean, Metagross does have really good defense. Uh, so now I'm like, well, what should I do? Doesn't KO him, uh, the poison doesn't KO him. So I was previewing the Sucker Punch here and knew that I could stall him out, and so I went ahead and went for the agility. Not that I needed the speed boost, but because I knew that it was essentially, it's essentially like protect stalling, uh, and so... Uh, Sucker Punch didn't hit me, didn't KO me, and he's gonna die thanks to the uh, uh, Toxic. Uh, so now it's his last Pokemon, I think it's his last Pokemon, um, Slutty Slut, uh, Latias, um, but again, this is what Metagross is here for. No way he's gonna outspeed me. I go ahead and go for the um, Ice Punch, and that is going to be enough to kill him, and that is good game. Good game, Zenobel 12, and I hope you enjoyed that battle. So long, folks.